Hey everyone, something that was really difficult for me as a young flutist was finding that perfect instrument. So I decided to make a series of videos to walk you through what it is that I look for when I'm flute shopping and to talk through some of the options that you're going to have to decide between. But if I'm going to be making all these videos to show you the ins and outs of flute shopping, I'm gonna need a lot of flutes. So I partnered up with the Flute Center of New York who is allowing me to make the series for you and also providing me with all the instruments that you'll see in this video. One thing that I love about the Flute Center is that you don't have to just be in New York to work with them. They ship worldwide. They have fantastic customer service and they will help you find that perfect instrument. So make sure to ask them any questions that you might have. Finally, they have every single flute brand that you can imagine. So whatever it is you're looking for, they've got it. And what's really cool is I've created some special bonuses for you guys, so if you buy a flute from them, you're really gonna get hooked up. If you use my code Gina, you will receive free shipping, a 10-day trial instead of a 7-day trial, an 18-month warranty, which is normally only one year, and for a limited time, you will receive a free download of one of my albums. You can set up your trial by calling or emailing the Flute Center, and don't forget to mention Gina to unlock all of your bonuses. Okay, let's get started. A question that I get asked all the time is whether the metal used on the instrument actually makes a difference to the sound or is it just for the look of the instrument? Well, I am here to tell you that it makes a huge difference in the sound of the instrument and you would actually be surprised at the different combinations that people use in their flutes of different metals to create that perfect sound that they're looking for. And I'm going to go into all the different metals in just a second, but I want to answer a few other questions. I also get asked if a professional flutist can make any flute sound good and if a beginning flutist can sound a lot better on a gold flute. I would say that a professional flutist can make pretty much every flute sound decent, ultimately though they're going to sound the best on a top of the line instrument. A professional flute will allow you to open your sound the most and it will also provide you with the flexibility that you need to create a lot of tone colors and dynamics. Also a lot of professionals add different options on the instrument to make certain things a lot easier on the flute. For instance, you can add a splitting mechanism or a C-sharp trill key. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure to watch this video right here and I go into all the different options that you can add onto your flute. So going on to my next question, professional flutes have a much more resistant metal, so a beginning flutist is going to have a much harder time making a sound out of these instruments. So I would say no, a beginning flutist will not sound better on a gold flute. flute most people get is a silver plated flute. This one that I'm going to play for you is a Trevor James Model 10X. Whenever you hear nickel flute, nickel plated, or silver plated flute, they are actually the same thing. What this means is that they are a nickel tube with silver plating. I would recommend these flutes for beginners and they will sound great and be cost effective.
let's talk about our next type of metal, which is silver. After your silver-plated beginner flute, the next step up is some type of a silver flute. The most commonly used silver for flutes is sterling silver, also known as 0.925, which is how much silver alloy is in the metal. There are a couple other amounts used, including Britannia silver, which is 0.958 silver, and Haynes coin silver, which is 0.9 silver. Silver is the most popular material for flute, and it has a really big and bright sound. You can have a silver head joint with a silver plated body and mechanism. You can also have a silver head joint, a silver body, and silver plated mechanism, or you can have an all silver flute. If you're wondering what a mechanism is, it is the keys and the rods on the flute. The more silver that you add, the more the silver characteristics are going to be present in your sound. Here's the Altus Limited Edition 907, which has a Britannia silver head joint and a silver plated body. This next flute is the Asumi model AZ3, which has a sterling silver head joint and body with a silver plated mechanism. The last silver flute I'll play for you is the Haynes Classic Flute Model Q4, which is entirely sterling silver. Our next metal is gold, and there are a lot of different types of gold, including rose gold, regular gold, 9 carat, 10 carat, 14 carat, and 24 carat. Just like silver had a lot of different options, so does gold. Gold flutes can come with either silver or gold keys, tone holes, rings, ribs, and posts. Gold's characteristics are a beautiful, warm, and rich sound. This is a Haynes handmade flute with a 14 carat head joint and body and silver mechanism. metal is platinum, which is by far the heaviest and most resistant metal. Platinum flutes have a dark sound with a lot of clarity. Remember at the beginning of this video when I told you that there could be a lot of different combinations of metal? Well, now I'm going to dive in and tell you a little bit more about those. Powell makes Armite flutes, which is gold and silver fused together. They can have gold on the outside with silver on the inside, or silver on the outside with gold on the inside. This Powell conservatory flute with 9 karat Armite has gold on the outside and silver on the inside. You can also have a different metal just on the lip plate, so this is a silver Miyazawa head joint with a 14 karat gold lip plate.
other option is adding a particular riser. The riser is the donut-shaped disc that connects the lip plate to the head joint tube. If you look closely on the silver head joint by Hanes, you can see the 14 karat gold riser. Now instead of having a metal, you can have a wooden head joint or even a wooden flute. Wood has a really warm and mellow sound. This right here is the Grenadilla wooden head joint by Trevor James. There are a couple final things that you should know about metals. The first one is that metals get progressively heavier. You have silver plated, which is the lightest, and platinum, which is the heaviest. Obviously, adding a heavy wall will change the weight of the flute as well. Also, you can only mix certain metals. For instance, a silver flute's tubing is thicker than a gold flute, so you can put a gold head joint into a silver body, but not the other way around. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions about metals or metal combinations, and you can also write the Flute Center of New York. I'll be talking flutes the first Monday of every month, so make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page, and I'll see you next month.